And tonight, BBC Sky at Night magazine is here at Royal Greenwich Observatory for the InSight Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards 2017. This year has been one of the best ever, with 3,800 entries from over 90 countries, with targets as diverse as the moon, the stars, the sun, and even the first ever image of an asteroid and the planet Uranus. So come along with us as we find out who this year is going to take away the top prize. Well, in my three years as a judge on the competition, I'm very honoured to be a judge. I am increasingly spellbound by the images that people achieve and the wonderful blend of science and also beautiful artfulness. These are astonishing images and a, a track of how we are moving further into the universe. I think the, the thing which surprises me every year is the fact that the quality just gets better and better because you think you get you get to the point where you are picking the winners and you're thinking how can that be bettered the next year and it always is which is incredible when we first saw a astronomy photographer of the year I was just to be honest impressed by the beauty of the photography and it was not just the beauty of the Im images that were shot but what the photographers had gone through to actually capture that picture the amount of work technically in terms of the photography and the thought in terms of what um, shot they were trying to capture and al also the risk to never getting that picture. They could be working for thousands of hours, be in the perfect place with no artificial light and still struggle to get that perfect shot at the perfect time. There's always an element of chance to this photography and that's what makes it so amazing. I've been doing astrophotography photography for, well, since I was probably 11 years old but you know, seriously, five or six years. My images of Venus going through its phases over a six month period. It's a difficult planet to image. I noticed from the Sky at Night magazine that Venus was going to be really well placed uh, towards the end of last year and the start of this year. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to try and capture some good images of Venus because lots of people take pictures of Venus and they're always slightly disappointing. You know, what I wanted to show was Venus is actually a beautiful planet through the telescope as well as to the naked eye. And actually it's not a dull, boring pearl that sort of sits there and sort of doesn't really change very much. I was really taken by the young category because that image was absolutely incredible. I mean, if I was trying to do that with a, a big telescope just a few years ago, I would have been delighted with that. On the night I took this picture, I remember going to the desert with my dad and we went with a couple of friends as well. And we used our C11 telescope. And I remember the conditions were just almost perfect for us that night. I'm not really sure what I'm next going to do for my big show next year, I guess. As the time comes, we'll see. My best bit of advice is listen to yourself and not the people around you. Take pointers from them, but do what you think is the best thing to do. One thing that got my attention this year is the increasing creativity in the category Our Moon. When you think of the Moon, you, you could consider that this is a very frequently photographed object. What new things can you do with it? But the vision and the imagination and the creativity, absolutely just astonishing. It was a new idea to, to take colorful shots of the Moon. I used two cameras. For the details, I used uh, black, black and white CCD, and for the colors, I had to use a DSLR uh, with a high resolution uh, colorful sensor. And it has so natural colors that I could emerge these uh, beautiful details, colorful details of the moon's surface. To capture this image was only 20 or 30 minutes. But to pre prepare for this, uh, this capturing, to build up the equipment was, was more than years. My personal highlight um, was the, um, the Aurora winner, which I just found fantastic. Not only was the colour um, just so rich and unusual, unusual shade of green, 
but it was also the um, just the mood of the piece. It was so dark um, and cloudy, and there were the jagged rocks in the background. It looked like something out of a fantasy novel or a you know Game of Thrones on TV or something like that. As soon as I saw it, I, I said, "This has to be one of the winners." And l luckily, uh, the rest of the judges thought so too. The night. I took the photo was a quite special night. We had been hunting the Aurora for three days on Iceland, um, cloudy nights. And finally we went to Stocksnes on the south coast of Iceland and the Aurora just appeared in the night sky and we were running around on the beach amongst the uh, sand dunes, uh, catching the compositions and so on. It was really funny. My advice to uh, new photographers you, sh you should just explore other photographers, how they do their photos and try to do it yourself. It's not really uh, hard to do it and uh, just find some source for inspiration and you can easily do it quite fast and you don't need special equipment to do it. My goodness, advice for anyone wanting to enter, uh, I would simply say just enter. This competition is for anybody, for experts who put in hours of meticulous work to create amazing composite images. Also, we've had a highly commended uh, entrance in the past. The seven-year-old lad who just went click with an iPad mini and got a beautiful image of the eclipse. Anyone can try it and you never know. Just have a go. Whatever your level of skill, you might just catch something. So simply do it. So that's it for another year of the Insight Astronomy Photography of the Year Awards. If you want to have a better look at some of the winners, you can either pick up the October issue of BBC Sky at Night magazine, or come down here to the Royal Observatory Greenwich, where an exhibit will be showing all of the winners until the 22nd of July. So that's it from us. Hopefully we'll see you here at the awards ceremony next year. Goodbye.